Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Entire Mansion New Game Plus 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 video, episode 194, and it's only been a day since last episode, and some, something actually big has happened. I have 107 rewards, which means the anti Prion Ghost has woken up and took control of the Nanoverse, and this means when I get one Prion power, I'll lose Prions faster, I'm producing Prion Charge, when I get one Prion power, your Prion Charge production is 1.5. 4 one times slower when you get one preamp power your inter energy production is 1.41 times faster or reward tiers are soft capped however the scientists from bosonic lab give an advantage you'll gain 0 0.5 extra tiers to your current or when he wakes up so essentially this is just like a soft cap to um <laughs> rewards but i still somehow got 107 rewards even though it, it, the anti preon ghost activates at 104 rewards so yeah and also, Tree Decay, I'm up to only E284 spins. I'm not sure. It's probably the Space Shards. I'm like, I feel like I had more than that. But yeah, it's probably the Space Shards. I will try to dilate time to see if I can get anything. I can get three orders of magnitude of um, Tachyon Particles. But other than that, I don't think there's that much I can do. I'm all, the limit of Ghostly Ray is only 89 quadrillion. I, I, I think I should just go out of Big Rip at this point. Like that, that seems like the best option here because this will allow me to start really increasing the limit of ghostly rays and it'll just allow me to get more antimatter for the, all the bosonic lab stuff. I'm now up to billions of bosonic battery. I think maybe it's time to start converting W minus W plus. Somehow I only have six quadrillion. quadrillion. I thought I was going to get more than that, but whatever. I'm just going to do it like this. Maybe I can increase overdrive speed a little bit to like 2.2 .2 times. And... Yeah, I don't think there's all that much else I can actually do here. I mean, I actually can get some neutrinos, but it's not really going to be all that much. I guess what I'm going to go for, I'm just going to try to go for more achievements. Like, for example, Everlasting Eternities get Infinite Eternity stat. I'm not even sure what my Eternity stat is. It's probably, it's, it's E298 banked Eternities. So maybe, like, with enough dilated time... I probably have a good amount of dilated time. E2688 dilated time. wonder if that's enough for an electron upgrade. Uh, no, I cannot get any more electron upgrades, but maybe I'm, I'm getting close. And maybe if I um, Eternity grind, maybe I can get some more Banks Eternities. I'm really close to E308. I'm just not there yet. Yeah, I'm really close, but I'm just not going to make it. So I guess I'm just going to... Um, yeah, just, I, maybe I can grind a little more neutrinos so I can get up to, like, E2020 of every neutrinos. Like, that, that, that seems cool. So, I'll, I'll do that. So, yeah, here we go. E, I'm, I just want to get E2020 because it's 2020. So, here we go. I mean, it, yeah, it's not really that significant, but that's, I mean, yeah, it's 2020. So, okay, now I can, um... Just try to get as much antimatter as I can. And I don't really think there's much else I can do here. I mean, I can get more bosonic watts. And I had, now I have a new antimatter record, E167 quadrillion. But I don't think there's all that much else I can do. I guess, like, I mean, there's the bosonic watts, the bosonic antimatter. I don't see much else. I guess I can get some levels of this. It's barely any levels, though. So, it'll barely do anything. And... I mean, maybe I now have E312 space shards, so maybe if I go into Big Rip, that will help me get like more spins. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can get I can actually get E95 billion antimatter in Big Rip, which is a good sign. And if I go into Nanofail, let's just just see what life with the anti Prion Ghost is like. Well, I'm still at 100 rewards. I think I just need to really grind Nanofail for like many hours. And Tree of Decay, I'm up to E286, 287 spins. I don't think there's much I can do with the Tree of Decay stuff, though. So, I guess all this is just more antimatter and big grip. I'm close to E100 billion antimatter and big grip, which is going to be a decent milestone. But other than that, I really do not see much else. I guess I can get double tachyon particles that will help things, but I don't see much else unfortunately so i think i'm just gonna yeah, i'm gonna go out of big rip and just try to get as much antimatter and just try to push the ghostly rays i'm 
I, I need to get, like, at least, like, 200 quintillion ghostly rays. Which is going to be really tough. Like, I've e I have now have E34 ghostly photons on E37 dark matter, but I'm probably going to need something like E42, 43 dark matter if I really actually want to um, get to the next light empowerment. Maybe what I should go for instead is complete a pair of challenge with quantum challenges of 6 and 8 combinations. With, and this is not big rip. So, yeah, this means I have to go, I have to literally go here and do this. And it'll normally run it as, yeah, it looks like I can beat this challenge. So, boom. There's another achievement. Maybe I can even try um, the um, back to challenge one. But I, I really, I, I don't see, I don't think I can get that. Like, this achievement is so terribly worded. I'm probably just going to contact the Discord because this is, this is a terrible wording. Like, does that mean I need to get that much antimatter in quantum challenges six and eight? I think that's what it means, but I am not sure. In the meantime, I could try just the deep challenge, which is complete attorney challenge 11, in a pair of challenge with quantum challenge of six and eight combinations and anti-dilation modifier. So yeah, that's, that's quite a challenge. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be able to beat this, but I, I'll try it. So anti-dilation, um, pair of challenge of six and eight, I can only get like E3 million antimatter. It's probably only like infinity di infinity dimensions. And then I have to go into Eternity Challenge 11, which yeah, that 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 sounds like torture. I don't I'm getting a lot of antimatter here. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe like it's no it's not infinity dimensions. They don't do anything. It's it's, it's maybe quarks. It's probably quarks or something. I have no idea. Maybe it's not that I only have E50 Eternity points. I'm supposed to get um, E15,500 Infinity points in Eternity Challenge 11. I only have, like, that to the race to 1.5. So, yeah, that doesn't look very good, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. And I have to actually respect my time studies because um, that's the only way you can actually get into Eternity Challenge 11, I think. Yeah. So I only have to use the norm. I can only use the normal dimension path. So it, that means it's going to be even worse than than it would than it would otherwise be. So yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just going to get every study here. I can I can still get everything in in these, but that doesn't. I don't know. Maybe a lot of stuff that is nerfed from like the Tourney Challenge Eleven is already in Pair Challenge Six and Eight. So maybe it won't be as bad as I may think. But here, here we go. Eternity Challenge 11. I can get, boom. Why don't I have the, wait, why don't I have the achievement? I have enough, uh, and maybe I need to complete the challenge. There we go. Boom. Another achievement complete. And I actually wasn't expecting to get this one, but I guess, uh, <laughs> I have no idea what's actually giving me the infinity points, but yeah, it must be something. But, yeah, this challenge, it's, yeah, the pair of challenges of 6 and 8 must really do a lot of what Eternity Challenge 11 does. So, yeah, now I need to just exit uh, the pair of challenges of 6 and 8, which I can't beat yet. I have to go into the right tab. I, I can never go in the right tab. And I can probably just exit challenge and go into a normal, normal run from this. So, I don't know if there's any other achievements I can really go for. I, I went for that one. Couldn't, could not do it. I don't think this one's possible. I've heard this one is really hard to go for, so I, I may wait on that one. And then try the E308 Eternity stat. I'm like, I'm, I'm really close to that one, but I'm just not there yet. So I think what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna wait and see what the back to challenge one achievement really means. And then I'm actually thinking next episode, I've, I've heard there's an exploit that I can actually do and it helps me get a lot more antimatter and people say it was like intentional or or at least at least it'll not get patched so in like the next update so yeah that, that's just gonna be next episode because I, i'm just gonna keep this episode to like what i'm doing here and 